Okay, so here's the work solution to number one, part A of this paper. So we've got to solve the equation natural log of x plus the natural log of 3 equals the natural log of 6. Now when you're solving any log equation, what you've always got to do is first of all get the equation down to two terms, that is one term on one side and one term on the other side of the equal sign. And at the moment we have three terms. So what I can do is use one of the rules for logs for the left hand side. And hopefully you remember that rule, let's just put it over here. It's often referred to as the addition rule for logs. And that is if you have any log in any base, let's say the log of A in base C, and you have to add it to the log of another number, B, also in the same base, C. This is exactly the same, it's absolutely identical to the log of A times B, AB, in the base C. So I'm going to use that rule here. We're dealing with natural logs, so the base is E. So what I get is that combining these two together gives the natural log of x times 3, or better still, 3x. And this equals the natural log of 6. Now I have my two terms, and we have a situation where we have a natural log on one side and a natural log on the other side. So what I can do now is anti-log both sides. So anti-logging both sides just leaves us with 3x equals 6. And clearly if 3x equals 6, then dividing both sides by 3 gives x equals 6 divided by 3, which is 2. So x is 2. OK, move on to part B now. So we have this equation to solve, e to the x plus 3e to the power minus x equals 4. Now in order to solve this, what I don't like is this negative power. So what I'm going to do is rewrite this then as 1 over e to the power x. So we therefore have e to the x plus 3 multiplied by 1 over e to the x. That's just going to come out as 3 over e to the power x equals 4. Now I've got a fractional equation here with e to the x being in this fraction. And like all fractional equations, I want to get rid of that fraction. I want to get rid of this, term, this, this e to the x here. So in order to do that, I'm going to multiply both sides by e to the power x. So multiplying the first term here by e to the x gives me e to the x all squared. Multiplying 3 over e to the x by e to the x just leaves me with 3 and then 4 times e to the x will be 4e to the power x. Now what I have now is a quadratic forming in e to the x, because I've got e to the x all squared here. And like all quadratics, I'd need to rearrange it to make it equal 0. So I've got e to the power x all squared. Let's subtract 4e to the x from both sides, so that's minus 4e to the power x and then plus the 3 equals 0. So here's my quadratic in e to the x. And what I'm going to do now is factorize this. So factorizing it, two brackets equals 0. e to the x will go at the front so that when this is multiplied out it will give me e to the x all squared. Two numbers at the rear of the brackets multiply together to give plus 3 and when combined with the e to the x's here should give me minus 4 e to the x.
So just by inspection I can see that it's going to be negative 3 and negative 1. So if you multiply this out you will get the line above. Okay, so having got that we can therefore say that e to the x minus 3 equals naught or e to the x minus 1 equals naught. And from this, if we add 3 to both sides here, we get e to the x equals 3. And if we add the 1 over here, we see that we get e to the x equals 1. OK. Now, when e to the x equals 3, if I take the natural log of both sides, I get x in this case equals the natural log of 3. And this one is pretty obvious actually. x has got to be 0. e to the power 0 is 1. If I didn't see that, again I can take logs to both sides, natural logs to both sides that is, and I would get x equals the natural log of 1. But the natural log of 1 is 0. So x is 0. Let's just recap then. We have x equals the natural log of 3 or x equals 0. Okay, so that brings us to the end of question number 1.